talked about this earlier, but uh, possibly you didn't catch it then. Longtime listeners of this program, uh, many, know that for several years now I have been trying to get onto the TV game show Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? And uh, I, I had a rather interesting experience about a month ago. Went down to New York City to audition for the program and also watch a couple of shows being taped. Last year on the show, they introduced a new wrinkle. If they are running short of time on a certain episode, rather than bring a new contestant out from backstage and start a whole new stack of questions, they will take the next question in the current stack, whether it's a $500 value question or a $500,000 value question, and uh, pick one person out of the audience to try to answer that question for $1,000. About a month ago, they picked me. I was surprised, to say the least. One of the assistant producers called me out of the audience and took me backstage. We sat down and she said, are you familiar with the $1,000 question at the end of the show if we're short of time? I said, oh yes, yes. Well, if we run short on either of the two episodes we're taping this morning, you will be the contestant. I said, that is awesome. And she said, I need you to fill out some forms. Happened to be a young woman that I interviewed with uh, during the audition process uh, three times over the last two or three years. Very pleasant woman, Jordan. I'm filling out the forms for her. And I said, by the way, Jordan, in July, you and I had what I thought was a very nice conversation. I went home, never got a postcard. What they do is, if you do get to the interview, and they send you a postcard that either says, congratulations, you're in the player pool, or it says, thank you for your interest, you have not been selected for the player contestant pool, etc., etc., feel free to try again. <laughs> I have a couple of dozen of those postcards. <laughs> She says, you never got a postcard? I said, no, no, no. I did go out of town about three or four weeks later, and I had the post office hold my mail. It's possible they lost the postcard. She says, that must be what happened, because we sent you the good postcard. I said, I beg your pardon? <laughs> she said, we sent you the good postcard. I said, how do you know? She said, because I sent it. <laughs> what this means is I am now in the player pool and could, could be called next year possibly even the year after, to come play the show. They're done taping for this year. Uh, even though the show will run new episodes through next May or June, they've got all their shows uh, in the can for this year. But next summer or fall, I could get a call to say, hey, come play the game. And in the meantime, they did run short of time on one of the two episodes. So I was called out of the audience and tried for $1,000. And that show, I'm told, will air next week. Originally, they said on Monday... Just yesterday, I found out that it's going to be, quote, sometime next week, not necessarily Monday. <laughs> I wish I could tell you more, but that's all I know. So, uh, something of an adventure about a month ago, and I want to thank a number of listeners who uh, over the years have called in with a request or just to say hello and say, by the way, how's the millionaire quest coming? <laughs> 